Hey, hey, crafters. Today is Wednesday, August 17th, 2022. Um, I know it's been like a month since my last video, but I have had, I've had a busy summer with the kids. So my name is Jenny. Welcome to Granny Square Peg, where I am going through um, a journey and a process of cleaning out all my clutter of crochet stuff. Um, 40 years of crocheting and I've I've collected a lot of stuff in the last seven years or so and I'm feeling now like it's a bit excessive and I am um, I had damaged my rotator cuff so I couldn't crochet anymore for a year so it's been a year and a half it's been almost two years since I damaged my rotator cuff and it is it's healed practically like 99% so I can crochet now it's just I don't have any desire to um, will I ever get it back? I don't know. I also battle chronic lifelong depression and crochet has always been, it's been a way for me to, um, keep myself busy, keep my hands busy, keep my mind calm, and then have a pretty blanket by the time I'm done. Because that's my specialty is blankets. I'm a blanket maker. Are you okay, kitty kitty? Are you stuck? Are you stuck? Put those clothes, baby. There you go. Sorry, kitty cat was stuck. Um, so where was I? Right, right, right. So I can crochet now, but um, I really don't have a desire to. And I don't know if it's just that stage in life that I'm at, or if um, if it's the depression, which I don't think it is. I think I just um. I just really don't, the crocheting doesn't um, hold the appeal nowadays like it did. So, I have a lot of yarn in a lot of boxes, bins, and bags. And then when I had damaged my rotator cuff, I had to pack it all up and store it away. It's been in one corner of my house. It's been in another corner of my house. It's been upstairs in my bedroom because I had family staying with me and I needed some space cleared up. It's been out in my shed, and my shed now has a, a leak in the roof, so I had to take it all out of the shed and see if any of it was damaged from water or from squirrels, and some of it was, and I, and I threw it away, and this is what's left. Now, I still have uh, 20 bins full of yarn. It's Mostly it's yarn, um, new yarn, leftover yarn, and then the blankets that I made that I just never did anything with. So this is me going through all of my yarny stuff, my crochet stuff. So I'm, I'm doing um, random yarn bins today. It is random yarn bin number 17, 18, and 19, and they're kind of small. That's why I'm doing all three of them together. Like here's number 17. So I'm gonna go through the bin, see what's in there, see if there's anything I wanna keep, and if there's anything I wanna get rid of. And at this stage in my life, you know, it'd be nice to be able to sell it on Etsy or eBay and make a little bit of money back from it. But seriously, my three teenagers and their jobs and school are keeping me so busy. I just don't think I have time to sell my yarn stash like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bag it up and donate it to my local thrift store. I have four thrift stores that I can go to. I've got something called Good Stuff Thrift. Salvation Army, Second Avenue Thrift, and Goodwill. So I've got a lot of places where I can donate my yarn stash, and that is what I'm going to do. So, yarn bin number 17. We are going through this one today and finding out what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. So, this, I have a feeling it's all Stitch Studio samples um, by Nicole. It was an AC Moore brand before AC Moore the craft store closed down. All right, so let's see. Yep, AC Moore, I bought this on March 18th. March in 2018, sorry. Paid a dollar. It feels like it's a, it's a very fine, it's a very thin yarn. Okay, so like a sock yarn or a hat yarn, scarf yarn, I don't know. Sock yarn, I would say. And... It's got some fuzziness to it. I'm wondering if it's got some wool in it and not just acrylic. Hold on. And then I can't see without my reading glasses on. And you know, when I sat down to film the video, I forgot to bring my reading glasses with me. 
Um, 60% acrylic, 20% nylon, 20% wool. It's um, 50 grams or just a little under 2 ounces. And 183 yards. Okay, so I'm not a sock maker. Um, crocheting socks is not a... Um, socks are better when they're knitted versus when they're crocheted you know so it was um all right let's see the label studio samples by nicole sold at my local ec more i have no plans for it um i don't need it for anything so i'm going to let it go and then i also have a ball of it here because i tried doing something with it it didn't work out so i just rolled it back up so this is still a full little ball of yarn it's just so I've got two of them, and I don't have any plans for them. So they're going to go. And then that's the same with this. It is the same fiber content, um, acrylic, nylon, and wool. And it is just a little under 2 ounces or 50 grams. It's just different colors. And I have two of them. So I think they're going to go too. Because right now all they're doing is they're just sitting around in a bin in my house doing nothing. And that doesn't serve me at all. So I'm letting it go. Oh, this stuff is even thinner. This is more like, um, like thread, almost like sewing thread. That's how thin it is. It's 100% acrylic. It is 50 grams, uh, 194 yards in this one. But I, I picked this up because of the colors, right? Because they're like Halloween colors. Um, oh, no, kitty, kitty. That's not for you. The cats love the yarn. Now, they'll play with acrylic yarn, but they really love it when there's a wool content in there. And no, you can't have that. So this, because of the coloring, the purple, the orange, the black, the, um, the light lime green, I bought this because they're Halloween colors, but because it's so thin, like thread, I have no idea what to do with it. So I'm pretty sure this is going to go too. And let's see what else is in here. Ah, this one I will keep. See this color here? I made a hat with this and I would like to make a matching scarf and what I did with this is I, I double I did double strands I, I mixed it with um, Karen Simply Soft in the um, off-white that they have and, and I love my hat and I would like to make, make a matching scarf so this one is going to stay and again acrylic nylon and wool hopefully I've got enough in that to make a scarf all right, now these were still bought at AC Moore. It's called Fashion Yarn, Fashion Yarn 2. It is, it is acrylic and it's a, um, I would say a number four medium weight. But these colors, the green and yellow, and that's not white. It's a really light shade of blue. I just, I don't like the colors. So I'm going to let it go as Elsa would say in Frozen, right? Let it go. And see, when I buy yarn, <laughs> I always buy at least two balls of it because you never know how much you're going to need. And I'm letting that go. And then it's the same kind. Um, basic yarn. These are still samples from AC Moore from Nicole. It's 100% acrylic, 50 grams. Number... I'm pretty sure it's a number four medium weight. It might be a number three, a lightweight, a light worsted. Maybe. But I do like the colors on that. Let me know. Do you guys think maybe I should hold on to this and make, a, make like a kid's hat out of it or something? Because they do like the colors on that. Those are a possibility to keep. Because when I look at the, the, the bright colors on that, they just, um, they make me smile. So, I just might keep those. Alright, and what's left in this is, wow, it has a date stamp on there of July 2015. It is, the label still says, Studio Samples by Nicole. 
I did buy it at my local AC Moore. Um, it is 100% acrylic, 45 grams. It is a lightweight number three, number uh, light need, um, um, light worsted. Um, ladies in the UK, you call it DK. So it's a number three. And because I love the color so much with the dark, the darker, um, teal like color and the light turquoise mixed with white and gray. I love this color so much that I bought all the samples that they had. So you ready? There's three, five, seven, nine. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, whoops, 15, 16. I've got 16 balls of this. Actually 17, because in one of my other random bins that we already did, um, there's a ball of it because I was playing around with um, stitches and I was working on a pattern and I was using this to work up my my sample that I was um, trying to come up with a pattern with that had um, V stitches, a granny cluster, and something else i can't remember so i do have 17 balls of this and and i have another ball somewhere else but there in this bin 16 balls of this stuff and i love the color on this still to this day seven years later i still love the color on this um i am hoping that once i clear out the yarn that i don't intend to use that it no longer color wise doesn't work for me or i can't figure out what i want to do with it once I let all that stuff go and I donate it and I'm left with the stuff that I do want to work with, I'm hoping I can, I can, I can finally, I don't know what I'm saying, um, finally get around to doing what I wanted to do. All the ideas that I always have in my head all the time, because I got to tell you, I always have crochet ideas in my head almost all the time. Even though I'm not crocheting anymore, they're in there all the time. So, that is what is in Random Yarn Bin number 17. Is a whole bunch of these studio samples from Nicole, and then AC Moore shut down, so you can't get this stuff anymore. Um, if there's anything in this pile that you guys, that, you know, you have some at home and you need some more, let me know. Um, we could work something out. I could send it to you, you know. I'm not beyond sharing what I have. Especially, like, if you're looking for a certain color and a dye lot or something's been discontinued. Um, so, you know, if you have this stuff at home and you need some more, let me know in the comments down below. Okay? So, now I know what I want to keep out of this bin and what I'm willing to donate and let go of. Then it'll be less stuff that I have to move around in my house and less stuff that I have to store. And I can get back to being creative and not being weighed down by how much I own because it is it is when you own so much stuff like this I am learning now at 50 years old when you go out and you shop and you shop and you shop and you buy more and more stuff it, it's a job you have to take care of your stuff you have to maintain your stuff you have to clean it you have to organize it and it weighs you down. It really, it truly does. But don't take anything what I'm saying the wrong way. This is just my journey. Um, to all you ladies out there who have your stuff organized, when you have it on shelves and cubbies and you have it organized and you use it, don't pay any attention to me. This is just my journey and what I'm going through. Um, more power to everybody out there who can keep it organized, who can stay on top of it, and it doesn't get to you. Um, I wish I could be like that, but I shop and I shop and I kind of, um, it looks like I'm hoarding it, you know, so it might be time to do something about it. All right, so random yarn bin number 18. Okay, number 18. I love this one, and I'm not getting rid of anything in this bin. Um, and you'll see why, because these colors are fantastic. 
Yeah, ready? Hopefully you guys can see all that. Hopefully the lighting is working with me today and not against me. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Um, Lion Brand Yarns, Ice Cream, Sprinkles, so, let's show you the label, Lion Brand Yarns, and then it says Ice Cream Sprinkles, because the yarn is white with little sprinkles of color, haha, <laughs> they're clever, and then they have it in what, Spanish and French maybe, um, 100% acrylic, Number three, lightweight. And how big is it? Oh, three and a half ounces, 100 grams, 394 yards, 360 meters. I love this. I have more of this Lion Brand, their ice cream, their sprinkles. Um, I have more, and I'm, I'm trying to get it all together in one spot because when I put it away, it was put away so randomly. So this color is rainbow, rainbow ice cream sprinkles. So I have two balls of it, it's brand new. I'm not getting rid of this, I am keeping this. I love these baby colors. I love the Lion Brand ice cream yarn. It is such a pleasure to work with. It is so soft, it is so squishy. And then when you do work it up, the colors are just so beautiful. But I have multiples of it. it. There's some here at my house. There's some in a bin that I have at my mom's. Because my mom is is so nicely storing some of my yarn for me. And then I have a blanket somewhere that I was using this on. So I'm in the process of trying to find it so I can get it all together. So, two balls of rainbow color. Lion Brand Ice Cream Sprinkles yarn. Fantastic yarn. Oh, I love it. So I'm pulling off all the cat. I have cats, and I've always had cats. Uh, I keep pulling off cat fur. All right, we have one ball of what color is this? I don't actually remember what color this is. It's still white. It's got pink and green and an orangey peach in it. Now, I must have been using it for something and then didn't like it and I ripped it out and or frogged it. We call it frogging because you rip, rip, rip and it sounds like ribbit, right? <laughs> so, what color is this? I don't... The label is underneath there somewhere because I wound all the yarn around it. Um... Oh, it's called Creamsicle. And it's still Lime Brand ice cream sprinkles and it's called creamsicle i know i will straighten all that up when i um i do have a ball winder and i'll make this all nice and neat okay so creamsicle i have a sample worked up here it is a it's a square it's a granny square it's a solid granny square instead of a traditional granny square and on every other row and every other stitch, I did a front post double crochet or a back post double crochet. So it's got a waffle texture to it. Let's see if I can get that up there where you can see it. Can you guys see that okay? It's got some waffle texture to it. So this was just me, like after I had bought the yarn, this was just me playing with it to see how it would work up and what it would feel like it's got a lot of drape to it it's i mean look when i hold it out like this right it'd make a cute little um um a little security blanket what do we call them for babies we call them loveys that would make a cute little lovey wouldn't it just leaving it just like that maybe put a border on it but I love the drape to it and the feel to it. Um, I don't know how this wound up in a, a yarn review, but this Lion Brand ice cream sprinkles yarn is is fantastic. And I know that they still sell it today. Um, I know their colors change every couple of years, but this stuff is wonderful and I love it so much. 
So that is the cream sickle color worked up in a granny square, a solid granny square with front post and back post to give it some waffle texture. And then one here that I had worked it up in probably in a different form of a square and I probably didn't like it. That's probably why I ripped it out. Okay. Um, I also have another color here. It is one that is pink, purple, and yellow. And it's still the Lime Brand Ice Cream Yarn. Solid granny square with the waffle texture with the front post and back post. Okay. See, the thing is, I put a border on this. I used plain old white. And I didn't like it because the whites are two different shades. This is the white from the Random Ball of Yarn I have. And then this is the Lion Brand. They just... They don't match so what I want to do is I want to take this white off and put on purple or yellow or pink not sure but again it's so pretty I don't know what color this is though I do have a baggie with leftovers see because I must have been using it for something else some notes in here um Purple, pink, and yellow. Ah, it's called Berry Burst. Yeah, I wrote it down on a piece of paper since I didn't have the labels. Don't know why I don't have the labels. They're probably with whatever project that they're sitting with. I wrote down a whole list of the Lion Brand ice cream yarn and their colors and how much they were they cost at the time. So I wrote this note in December 2016, and they were $4.99 a ball of yarn. And in their plain old ice cream line, they have cotton candy, cookies and cream, spumani, grape, blueberry, lemon swirl, tutti frutti, mint, lemon meringue, strawberry, banana split, birthday cake, and coffee. Now out of all those colors, I have cookies and cream, blueberry, strawberry, and banana split. I think those are the ones that are at my mom's house. So then this one, the ice cream sprinkles, berry burst, sherbet, bubblegum, tropical, creamsicle, vanilla bean, cool mint, and rainbow. So I have berry burst, sherbet, tropical, creamsicle, and rainbow. So I'm trying, I'm, I'm really, I'm trying really hard to find them and put them all together. Because here's one that is white with two or three different shades of blue and white. And this is just leftovers, so I would curious as to what I made with that. This one is blue, purple, orange, right? Pretty color. I love that. Oh, I can't wait till I find them all and get them all together. Curious as to what I was making with all of them. I was just probably playing with all of it. And then I have this baby yarn from... Michael's. It's called Loops and Thread. Snuggly Wuggly. <laughs> Snuggly Wuggly. <laughs> it's, a, it's an awful name for a yarn line. I don't know. Snuggly Wuggly. Uh, it sounds sounds ridiculous when you say it out loud. Um, it is just plain old white and I was using it to match it with my sprinkles. But you see this white is too bright. It needs to be toned down a little bit. So I couldn't color match it. Um... It is a uh, light worsted weight number three. Five ounces, um, 400 meters, 446 yards. My timer to let me know that I can only film for 28 minutes and then I got to stop the camera and then start all over again. So this is what is in yarn bin, random yarn bin number 18. Okay. A ball of white that I was trying to mix with my Lion Brand ice cream sprinkles, okay? And then the creamsicle color, and then two solid granny squares with waffling texture, and a baggie full of leftovers, labels, and notes to myself of all the colors there were because I wanted a one one or two balls of each color. So that is random yarn bin 
Number 18. I'm not getting rid of anything in this bin. I'm keeping it all because I love that yarn. <laughs> I love the Lion Brand ice cream sprinkles yarn. And the regular ice cream yarn. Alright, so on to random yarn bin number 19. But let me fix my camera and I'll be right back. Are you guys still with me while I'm going through all my random yarn bins? Or are you getting bored and you want to see more of my blankets? Um, are you waiting impatiently for my pattern for Karen cakes? Uh, <laughs> I have some, not grammar errors, uh, spelling errors in the pattern. See, I'm not a pattern writer, so it's just my notes, my random notes. Um, and then I realize that I'm, I'm, I'm missing things in my directions. So I am working on the Karen Cakes blanket pattern, okay? I am working on it. I'm trying to get it so that it makes sense and that it works properly. And as soon as I get that done, I will do a video and I will... I will, I will try to do the, the tutorial videos that ladies do where you just see their hands. I'm working on that, okay? Um, always something going on in the background. Even if I don't post for a while, it's usually just because life got a little busy. Um, random yarn bin number 19. I have a feeling this is just leftovers for a project, and I don't know where the project is. Uh, yep. Okay. Burnett Softy Baby Cotton. See if I can squish that so you can see the label. Um, I have, I have a love-hate relationship with cotton yarn. I like the feel of cotton, okay, but I don't like working with it. It um, it doesn't flow. It's not as smooth for me to work with cotton as it is with acrylic or wool. So I'm, I'm always seeing the colors in the store. I'm always feeling the texture and I love how soft it is. And then I'll buy it and I'll try it. And I'm like, nah, you know what? I really don't like working with cotton. Why do I keep doing this to myself? So it's Burnout Softy Baby Cotton. And it's got a date stamp on there from 2018. The color is called cotton. It is a, an off-white, a creamy white. It is a lightweight, medium, uh, not medium. I keep saying medium. It's a lightweight, a light worsted number three. 60% um, cotton, 40% acrylic. Four ounces, 120 grams, 250 yards or 230 meters. I have two of them because you see, here it is. I tried working with it realized yet again for like the 29th time in 40 years I really don't like working with cotton even though I love its texture and its feel so I had was working with it didn't like it wrapped it back up so I have two balls of this thankfully my mom's been working on um in order for somebody and she needed washcloths face cloth so you can wash your face in the bathroom little scrubbies and she needed some cotton so I'm going to be sending this to my mom hopefully sometime soon um what else is in here um more snuggly wuggly from Michaels loops and threads number three lightweight should be 100% acrylic five ounces um, it is partially used. I uh, must have been using it on another project somewhere. Yeah, I was probably using it on another project somewhere. Probably mixed with this. They don't, I don't even think they make this color anymore. So at Michael's, the craft store, they have a line of yarn called Loops and Threads. And then within the Loops and Threads, you have... Um, they have um, thick yarn, thin yarn, and they, they all have different names. So while this is the Snuggly Wuggly, so it tells you that it's baby yarn, this is called dip dye because, I don't know, because it reminds me of tie dye, but they call it dip dye. I love the coloring on this stuff, and no sooner had I found it years ago 
and then it just disappeared out of my Michaels and I noticed recently when I was in there that it's back again but um, not in the same kind of colors that they were before so this is uh, wavelength and it's this this dark aqua that goes into this this speckled white that has speckles of blue on it I love the coloring on this now I made this in a project I made a blanket with it because there's also a purple version so I think the blanket is half of the blue color half of the purple color which is probably I use the white probably to separate them I have to find the blanket that goes with this because this stuff is this stuff is good. I like it. It is a um, when you feel it in the store. I, I mean, this is my the older version. Um, it is a little scratchy, but it does soften up when you wash it. Um, yeah, it doesn't have that squishy feeling to it, but uh, it's a little rough around the edges. But I still like it. You wash it, it softens up. Um, yeah, I must have. I had more than one ball of it because this. Is the same color just um, a different dye lot can you see how that's more of a, a sea green even though it's still blue it still had the same label as this but do you see the difference in that dye lots dye lots are important I know that the yarn companies are trying to make all of their yarn the same color so it's consistent but still back in the day you can find variations in the dye lots and I love the sea green of this even though I still love the blue. So these are all my leftovers, little leftover balls of yarn. Here's the purple. Oh, I have to find that blanket. And then get it all together, and then we'll do another video on that. Um, so that's leftovers. Um, I got some yarn labels in here. And I have no idea what they're for. I am so disorganized with all my stuff. And, ah, okay. Yeah, these are the notes. <laughs> okay. All right, so there is a blanket that goes along with this snuggly wuggly, right? Um, these are my notes. There's my notes right there. Um, the yarn labels are in here. And, you see, there's my crochet hook. I leave my crochet hooks with the projects and they'll stay with those projects for years which is why I have so many hooks because I refuse to put the hook away until the project is completely done so this is an H five millimeter it's from boy and look at that purple Isn't that pretty I tell you this is a favorite hook of mine but I refuse to use it until this project is completely done how my brain works sometimes, I just, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> Alright, so that all goes with the Snuggly Wuggly. And I have to find the project that goes with it. This is a label for Vanna's Choice and a label for Karen Jumbo. <clears throat> and it's got a little piece of pink. That's probably the Vanna. And then the Jumbo was probably this variegated color. So that means they go to a project. And I was using them to color match. Probably. Alright, and then here's a baggie that is full of Red Heart with Love. And Red Heart with Love. And Red Heart with Love. They're orange color. They're rouge, which is a red color, and then this variegated called fruit punch. Okay, it's got some red, it goes into orange, it goes into green, it goes into blue. This I made into a blanket, and I have, it's in my pile of blankets. It's, seriously, for every bag I come across, I have the leftovers, the yarn, um, the, the band, the labels, um, yeah, my crochet hooks, they're all separate from the project itself. And that's part of what I'm doing here is trying to get all of these leftovers in the notes with the project so I can finish a project and move it along. 
Oh, oh, and there's some blue in there too. So yeah, there's a bag full of leftovers for a project. Sometimes this is just, it's my pile of shame. I, uh, but I'm working through it, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not sitting back. I'm not crying about it. I'm finally doing something about it. So that is random yarn bin number 19. So I can't get rid of anything out of there because they actually belong to projects. So I have to go dig in my pile of blankets and get the projects, get them together. And they are completely separate videos, right? So. Random yarn bin number 17, number 18, number 19. And they're done. So. 19 I can't get rid of anything in there. 18 I'm not getting rid of anything. Um, 17 I'm getting rid of half of the yarn in there. So that's progress. And I think deciding to to send it to my local thrift store, I think that's a good idea. I mean, I see yarn in the thrift store all the time. They always have it priced too high. They always have it priced more than what we originally paid for it. But that's the thrift store, I guess. Um, so thank you guys for being here. Thank you for being patient. I, um, even though you don't see me for a while, I, I am working on things in the background. Um, I, I truly am. There are days when I don't even want to touch my yarn pile at all because I am so ashamed and so embarrassed by it. Um, but the kids are getting ready to all go back to school. So it will free up a little bit more time for me during the day while they're in school i mean they're all teenagers it's not like i have to run around after them all day but they've had summer jobs and, and there's band camp so i've been really busy with driving them around because they don't have driver's licenses um so life has been really really busy and i don't mind but um the yarn kind of got pushed off to the side and it's sitting in the middle of my dining room so it is i gotta get back to working on it um um, I never know how to finish wrapping up the videos because, I mean, I could sit here and talk all day. All day. I could talk about life, um, the books I read. I could talk about yarn. I can talk about my cats. I could talk all day long. <laughs> so, thank you guys for being here. Um, thank you for being patient with me. Um, thank you for growing my, my YouTube channel. I mean, you guys blew it up. A couple months ago, I went from... 30 subscribers to well over 500 and I I was just so humbled so thank you so much for for being here and hopefully you guys aren't bored of seeing me yet um uh, leave some comments down below if uh, if in any of my yarn videos when I'm going through my yarn bins if there's any color or brand that you need to match a project that you're doing just reach out let me know um just drop a comment down below or um uh, my email address is granny square peg at gmail.com send me an email if you want to um you can also find me on facebook still granny square peg at facebook um i don't do a lot at facebook right now because they keep changing the way I have control over my page and they're making it very difficult and uh, so you know try my email that might be the best way to or just drop a comment down below um, and hopefully I will see you guys soon bye